you, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Let me thank the gentleman from New Jersey for yielding and also for your leadership uh, and also to our chairman because this is such an important um, bill. And I want to thank both sides for crafting uh, this bipartisan, bicameral, really, compromise. I also want to thank you and, and say that uh, we appreciate uh, you're taking into consideration the concerns of the Congressional Black Caucus, the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, and the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus. This bill will strengthen the Minority AIDS Initiative by moving it back uh, to a formula-based grant system uh, requiring a GAO study and a subsequent department plan by HHS to ensure that the Minority AIDS Initiative functions as it was intended. This initiative was begun under the leadership of Congresswoman Maxine Waters in, in the late 90s, and it, it's working, but it hasn't been fully funded, and the resources haven't really been directed to where we, the need is the greatest. And so we've got, uh, as you know, a, a devastating epidemic in the United States, and young uh, gay men, uh, minorities, people of color, and women are facing the brunt of it. We've got to do a better job in protecting those who are most at risk while taking care of those already infected. I'm pleased that the President is developing a national aid strategy to guide our response to this epidemic. As one who has worked consistently over the years on the global HIV pandemic, both here and abroad, I think that we need um, a PEPFAR, a domestic PEPFAR. But this is a compromise bill. Uh, it will increase the funding 5% each year, but I think we must uh, do more. Also, let me just say, we have to really take a look at some of the interventions that we know will work, which are tough political issues to address, such as needle exchange, such as comprehensive sex education, such as this real epidemic, and it is in our prisons. And so we have to take many, many steps to really uh, begin to look at how to turn this around and to stamp uh, HIV and AIDS from the face of the earth. So I just want to thank you, Mr. Pallone and Mr. Waxman, and all of you who have taken General Ladies, time's expired. Putting this bill together.